Okay, so for decades, we've been hearing from uh, gloom and doom sort of soothsayers. We've been hearing from activists, environmentalists, and we've been hearing from scientists across a range of disciplines, and they're all warning humanity that the global water supply is changing. So when we talk about what water will be like in the future, we touch on some scary things. You know, we touch on uh, people who tell us that there will be some sort of dystopian war for water and the world will be like a desert. Uh, you know, think of Mad Max, right? And then we have other people who say that this problem is exaggerated. Unfortunately, there is quite a, a strong body of scientific evidence that shows the global role of water is changing. And we can trace it back to a couple of factors. Uh, first, we have a skyrocketing human population set to exceed the predictions of the UN and other inst international institutions. Secondly, uh, those people are hungry, and agriculture is a tremendously water-intensive activity. So we have more people who need water for cleaning, for washing. We have more people who need water for food or for livestock. And coupled together with the third and perhaps most frightening factor here, which is pollution, uh, we will see a world where water as we know it uh, changes, especially the availability. And we don't have to look decades or centuries into the future. We can see this now. Uh, in Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan, the Aral Sea has gradually disappeared over the years due to the increased demands for water. So when we hear uh, scholars and scientists and those aforementioned uh, gloom and doomers uh, say that water will be a source of conflict in the future, um, I wouldn't say go ahead and hop on to your uh, Mad Max mobile or anything, uh, but unless something changes, we will live in a future where water could be a source of conflict. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.